You know, it's never a good thing when something as large scale as a building demolition goes wrong. In fact, you definitely never want to be in the vicinity and hear anything like, it's falling the wrong way, run! But occasionally things go very wrong indeed. Actually, it seems to happen more often than you would expect, so that's reassuring. From a phallic farm building that simply refused to subside, to playing a Jenga game that was dicing with death, here are 20 structure demolitions gone wrong. Number 20. Demolition of Seaforth Tower Blocks Fails while attempting to fell a couple of super dingy old tower blocks in Merseyside in the north of England, the demolition crew ran into some problems. The rundown 15-story blocks were not planning on departing this world without a bit of a fight. The nearby buildings were evacuated, the explosives were set, the crowd was gathered to watch the spectacle. The two buildings had been wired with explosives and everyone waited for the kaboom followed by a satisfying collapse. But nothing happened. Well, not nothing. It went kaboom, but there was no collapse. This was a bit of a head scratcher for the demolition doers, but the tricky thing is that once you've wobbled a building with a lot of explosive stuff, you can't really go check why it hasn't fallen down yet. So they waited. And two hours after the initial detonation, the building called Churchill House finally decided to give up the ghost and took its ultimate bow. The other, Montgomery House, stubbornly refused to quit. So the exclusion zone that had been put in place had to remain. People were unable to return to their nearby homes for fear of the building simply giving way at any moment, except that it didn't. Montgomery House continued to stand despite being dosed with dynamite like its partner. So the next day, they tried again. And a bit of the building did begin to fall away, but still wouldn't lay down and die. In the end, the demolition team was forced to admit defeat and take the building down with a crane and a wrecking ball. So that's probably a teeny bit embarrassing. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Sometimes you're just going to have a bad day. That's how it goes. If the universe picks on you, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So if you happen to be doing a spot of light demolition work on that day, fingers crossed for you. Like this poor old sap who seems to have managed to spear the building with the pointy part of a crane and just can't seem to shake that sucker loose. Looks like they're taking that tower home. You broke it, mate. You bought it. Well, that's what it looks like to me anyway. What do you think's going on in this demolition gone wrong? Let us know all about it in the comments below using hashtag fancy topic. Now on to the next one. Number 19. 93 year old bridge refuses to fall after demolition attempt. There's definitely something funny about such an earnest attempt to blow something up that ends in complete failure. A bridge that had been condemned to demolition after being deemed structurally deficient had the last laugh after it refused to acquiesce and collapse into the river when explosives were detonated in a controlled explosion. Although the explosives definitely went off, it was more like a sequence of party poppers being released, and then nothing. The bridge looked essentially as it had always looked and sat there with what could be interpreted as a mocking expression. So so much for structural deficiency. The Broadway Bridge had stretched between Little Rock and North Little Rock in Arkansas for 93 years, and she wasn't going anywhere without a fight, or at least a little dignified protest. The spokesperson for the Arkansas Highway Department, while blushing as he deserved to, stated that although they believed they had weakened the bridge, they would have to use mechanical means to actually dismantle it. Sounds a teeny bit embarrassing when the plan had been to cleave the arch and provoke a controlled collapse. Number 18. Pontiac Silverdome still stands after implosion fails. 
Like so much of Detroit in the decade following the financial crisis and the decline of the auto industry in the city, the vast aging football stadium had become yet another symbol of the city's despair. In 2017, the date would be set for the demolition of the legendary Pontiac Silverdome. The 80,000 capacity sports arena and previous home to the Detroit Lions had laid derelict for years, but when it was built, it had been considered state of the art and one of the greatest sports venues in the world. Eventually, it fell into disrepair and became so broken down that the stadium was used as a post-apocalyptic backdrop in a Transformers movie. Such is life. With the ruined stadium wired with explosives and poised to crumble, the demolition team pressed the detonator, but the result was underwhelming to say the least. Nothing happened. The trail of blasts around the outside of the structure were supposed to collapse the top section of the building, but they did little more than a feeble pyrotechnic display followed by nothing at all. Such a disappointment, especially for the vicarious vandals out there who were foaming at the mouth in anticipation of the destruction. It turns out to be nothing more than a damp squib. Number 17. Red Road Tower Block Demolition Failure well, this is all getting rather embarrassing for the professional demolition industry, isn't it? This time, the planned demolition of six old tower blocks in Glasgow went completely sideways and left two of the towers all but still intact. The biggest problem when you attempt a massive demolition is that you really have to move people out of nearby buildings for safety reasons, if not politeness. So when you move 2,500 people out of their homes with the promise that they'll be back home again in time for tea, you really have to deliver the goods. So when these two towers failed to be felled, it caused an even bigger headache for the local council. A horde of grumpy Glaswegians. Never a good idea. And here we are again. There's that perennial problem. Once you've started a demolition, even just a tiny bit, then how do you go back and fix it when it doesn't work? That building is going to be wobbly at the very least, and it may still yet collapse. I wouldn't volunteer to be the one and go take a closer look, would you? Number 16. Vegas Casino Hotel Demolition Fails to Fell Elevator Shaft as a city that's constantly remaking itself, Las Vegas is certainly no stranger to demolitions. They're almost as common a sight as construction work. The 12-story Clarion Casino Hotel was rigged up to 4,400 pounds of explosives, which were set to be detonated just before dawn. This being Las Vegas, they couldn't resist a little bit of a show, but there was a pre-implosion soundtrack of Frank Sinatra and a couple of Vegas showgirls headed up the countdown to the big boom. There's something just so very satisfying when a demolition goes off, and this one did indeed go down really well. A huge explosion followed by an almost complete collapse. Just the rigid mass of the elevator shaft remains standing, and frankly, that seems like a win to me. So compared with some of the other demolition fails we've seen so far, this one didn't leave a whole lot left for the diggers to come and take down. And just look at it go boom. Number 15. Two companies find over California power plant demolition that injured five spectators. Now this is really not what you want from a demolition. Nobody waiting for the fun explosion stuff is looking for carnage followed by litigation. It's just not the fun afternoon's detonation that you were hoping for when it ends in lawsuits and limb severing. Bakersfield, California in 2014 would be the site of a demolition that went really very wrong indeed. The controlled implosion of a central Californian power plant was to be an exciting event, and a whole bunch of people had gathered to watch the spectacle, over 1,000 in all. And it was going to be a pretty exciting event by all accounts, but some people were so eager to see the implosion that they had slept in their cars overnight to be sure to be there in time. That is some dedication to demolition right there. So that's why it was even more of a problem when the demolition went wrong. 
Partly because, you know, people would be disappointed, but really it was the bloodshed amongst the large group of spectators that caused the biggest issue. The old steam power plant began its series of controlled explosions at around 6 a.m., and then it began to go really wrong really fast. The buildings did fall, however, it was in a fiery mess and not the neat and tidy implosion that they should have been. Then the shrapnel began to fly, directly at the crowd. Four people suffered minor injuries, but one especially unfortunate man had his leg partly severed by the debris. And in California, too. That's going to make some lawyers a pretty penny. Number 14. Chinese demolition men accidentally create the Leaning Tower of Lizhou. This demolition in the southern city of Luzhou in China left a little to be desired after it failed to do what any of the explosive experts had predicted. The 22-story residential tower block was rigged with explosions and primed for detonation. The general idea was to split the building right down the middle and then collapse the two halves. And initially, it did seem as though the plan was working. Well, sort of. Then it all goes belly up. The building cracked open down the center. So far, so good. Then one side leaned over and toppled to the ground. Not quite the fulfilling crumbling that's so enjoyable about demolitions. But to make matters worse, the other side of the building attempted a rather feeble effort, took a bit of a lean, and just stayed there. Still erect, but decidedly off kilter. And that's where it stayed. A sad and wonky leaning tower of Lazoo, cockeyed and teetering dangerously over the downtown shopping district while it awaited an unceremonious appointment with a wrecking ball. Number 13. Spectators run for cover after 300-foot power station chimney in Springfield is demolished and falls the wrong way. So, you pop out for a lovely afternoon's entertainment down at the local power plant, as one does. There's a jolly exciting demolition plant. The eyesore of a chimney is finally to be felled in a satisfying manner, like chopping down a huge dead tree. Except things don't always go exactly as planned. In Springfield, Ohio, the 83-year-old Mad River power plant had a disused and super ugly 300-foot tall chimney stack to get rid of. And in America, the best way to do that is to blow it up. Why not? The sums were done, the plans were drawn up, and the explosives were set. Everything was going to plan. The tower would be down by tea time. But as the detonation began and the tower teetered, the horrified spectators realized that it was falling in the wrong direction. All the plans had indicated that the chimney would topple towards the east, but it suddenly lurched in a southeasterly direction towards the watching crowd. Mercifully, all were able to run in the opposite direction and nobody was hurt during the blunder. The reason for the mistake? was apparently down to an undetected crack in the base of the stack that had caused the change in the way the explosives had behaved. The worst that happened was that the chimney fell onto two nearby power lines and a generator building, knocking out the power for about 4,000 households in the Dayton area. Which is just, well, I mean, nobody wants to hear the words, it's falling the wrong way, run. Number 12. The Leaning Tower of Dallas still stands after crews work to bring it down. A failed implosion's always a little disappointing, let's be honest. But when a building collapses in such a neat and unexpected way, then you have to admire its style, even if some of it stays standing. This 11-story office building in Dallas, Texas was primed to collapse in a controlled explosion, and it mostly worked. The outside structure of the building did indeed fall away with a gratifying thoroughness, but the middle bit was left standing. The central column seemed to blush as it dropped its clothing and stood there all exposed in the middle of the city. 
The crowds urged the column to let go and succumb to the explosion, but she held on. The core shaft that had contained the elevators and the stairwell stubbornly refused to fall and remained, albeit at a tilt for the rest of the week. Plenty of people found this the perfect opportunity to visit Dallas' own leaning tower to take a hilarious insta-worthy picture, no doubt complete with the perfect comedy caption. In the end, it took a good old wrecking ball and a whole demolition team to come in and bang her from the top down till she finally gave in and subsided. Number 11. Failed Building Demolition while it's almost always funny, if not downright flipping hysterical to watch videos of stuff going wrong, it's just so much better to watch videos which go wrong to the soundtrack of somebody laughing hysterically. <laughs> It's what we live for as internet video nerds. So to see a hilarious demolition failure accompanied by a laughing woman just about ticks all those boxes for us over here at the fancy banana. Even if there is literally nothing else going on. It is a building in Russia that's wired to go boom. It goes boom. It wobbles. It leans. It stops. The spectators laugh their heads off. The end. Talk about comedy gold. Number 10. Silo demolition in Denmark goes wrong and crushes cultural center. Now here's a story that might just break your art, if you're a Danish cultural center that is. It comes to something when the eyesore that you're trying to remove not only causes more mess for the poor local people to contend with, but it also takes out a load of cultural art stuff as well, like a double whammy of making stuff uglier. When this 170 foot silo was scheduled for demolition in the Danish town of Vordenborg, people were pretty happy to see it go until they saw exactly where it was actually heading. The silo was rigged with explosives and the demolition team were poised to make a nice, safe, controlled implosion, removing a literal blot on the landscape and improving the visual experience for everyone. But despite apparently getting all their sums right, like the clever engineers they no doubt were, the silo did something that nobody had predicted. It tipped over in completely the wrong direction, spurning the lovely big space available for it to fall into. No, this silo wanted to be held in its final moments and headed straight for the arms of the cultural center which contained both a library and a music school. Number 9. Silo Demolition Fail now perhaps you have a rubbish old grain silo cluttering up your view when you're doing the washing up or it's giving you feelings of inadequacy or maybe you just really hate silos. Whatever your beef with any kind of concrete land phallus, this super simple although time consuming technique may be the answer to your silo demolition issues. A time lapse video shows a guy who is painstakingly walloping the base of this silo with a sledgehammer and gradually removing the blocks from one side. Presumably, the goal was to weaken the structure and then push it over. A bit like chopping down a tree, I would imagine. Except silos and concrete don't really work like trees, do they? And this structure simply wobbles over and settles back down again, this time at a wonky angle. However, a rural problem can usually be figured out with a classic rural solution. In this case, a trusty old tractor is brought in to finish the job. And boy does it do a number on that ugly concrete silo. By the time the tractor's been hooked up and given a tug on the tow cable, the silo's reduced to a pile of rubble in a super satisfying crash. What a relief. Number 8. Russian high-rise demolition fail caught on camera. So basically what we're beginning to see is that when demolitions go wrong, they often produce something so underwhelming that everyone feels a little bit embarrassed for the poor old building. And then, adding insult to injury, the sad old structure is frequently left tottering at a precarious angle, like an aged aunt who has hit the cooking sherry a bit too hard at Christmas. In Russia, they take the illegal construction of buildings very seriously. So seriously, 
in fact, that if you put one up, then likely as not, the authorities will come and knock it down. At least they'll try to knock it down. This illegal structure in Sevastopol was wired with explosives and poised for demolition as a crowd gathered to watch. The detonation seemed successful, the building lurched and fell, but only by a few yards. Then she hitched up and stopped dead, ultimately left leaning at a jaunty angle as if to taunt the powers that would destroy her. The authorities were, of course, quick to rush in and say that of course they absolutely meant to do it that way and it had all gone off perfectly. They had only wanted to slightly demolish it, so as to protect the surrounding buildings and the Russian citizens. That seems so correct, you know? Nothing to see here, move along. Number 7. Turkey demolition goes dramatically wrong as building fails to crumble and rolls onto its roof. All these surprising demolition accidents are just the tiniest bit unnerving. I've been going around all this while expecting that the people blowing stuff up are all reasonably certain what will happen when they push the detonator. So when it seems as though whole enormous buildings can simply get up and roll around unexpectedly, then perhaps we need to check these demolition guys' credentials. This massive derelict building in Turkey was once a flower factory but had laid in a state of disrepair for decades. The eyesore finally found itself in the firing line and was wired for a controlled explosion aimed at raising the structure to the ground. But as the explosions occurred, so too did a surprise. And surprises are great for birthdays and whatnot, but when it comes to blowing up buildings, they're not as desirable of an outcome. This building did not collapse, it remained intact, but suddenly lurched over and began to roll, tumbling over onto its side and then onto its roof before pitching up on a wall just yards from a nearby residential building. Fortunately though, disaster was averted, but but then what are you supposed to do with a building that is just staggered off down the street? I expect it took a whole lot of people standing around scratching their heads to get out of this pickle. Number 6. Oceanfront Building Demolition Goes Terribly Wrong this planned demolition of a Miami high-rise actually did everything except go according to plan. It resulted in the serious injury of one construction worker and the utter carnage of total and unexpected collapse of the building. Although a demolition is generally about making a building into a pile of rubble, there are ways to go about these things and nobody wants to discover that the structure in question has done anything too surprising or unexpected during the process. So when the Miami Beach Oceanfront Condominium Building, known as Marlboro House, was condemned for demolition, everyone in the neighborhood understood that this was going to be a week-long process and would be done in stages. And that was definitely the plan. But as we're discovering, when you start tinkering with wonky old buildings, weird things can happen. Demolition work was underway on the building when suddenly it seemed as though the whole structure just collapsed. Eyewitnesses said that there were no explosions, just the concrete breaking apart, and then the whole thing just spewed out into the street and into the path of oncoming traffic as well. So it wasn't exactly a shining example of a demolition done right. Number 5. The planned implosion of the Zipfeed Tower goes wrong. Once the tallest building in all of South Dakota, the Zip Feed Mill had long ago given up the ghost and became nothing more than a pigeon perch and rat run. So as is the way of such things, the real estate value of the land turned out to be a more beguiling prospect than the preservation of the state's agricultural history. It was time for a big boom. The felling of the old 202-foot-tall zip tower was soon to become a great big spectacle, and with the support of city officials and no shortage of local people eager to see a big explosion, the stage would be set. Sioux Falls turned out in huge numbers on a snowy December day in 2005, all to witness the end of the structure. It was attached to all of the explosives, wired up very nicely, 
and was even sporting a rather fetching banner with the word BOOM emblazoned across it. The expectation was enormous. The city had even held a raffle for the chance to be the lucky individual to push the detonator. These people were really into blowing up this tower. Over 25,000 tickets would be sold. The moment arrived and everyone gathered to see the collapse. The button would be pushed and the crowd whooped as the rumbling began. The building dropped down a couple of dozen feet as if collapsing to her knees. And then it all stopped. The tower was wedged in place, just a tiny bit shorter than when they'd started. The expectation of the crowd turned to laughter as the slapstick moment of the non-event would sink in. And like the end of most of these close but no cigar demolitions, a wrecking ball was brought in to finish the job. It took over three weeks to finally pound her into the ground. Number 4. Explosive Demolition Fails to Fell Aussie Building In yet another disappointing climax, this demolition that promised such a big bang really failed to perform. The controlled implosion of the 50-year-old brewery building in Brisbane, Australia had seemed like it was going to produce such a lovely and satisfying kaboom and all began well. Packed with over 200 pounds of explosives, the building did release a satisfying cloud of smoke and dust, made all the right movements toward the classic demolition collapse, but then suddenly faltered. She rocked from side to side and then settled in a distinctly unstable posture. So yet again, it became necessary to bring in a tried and tested classic method to finish the job that was started. This time, the demolition team saw that the building just needed a few encouraging nudges in just the right places to send her over the edge. Diggers were brought in and they tentatively poked at the building's wrecked margins, and in a final gentle prod, one digger pushes the concrete structure completely over. That must have been a scary but super satisfying day in the digger. Number 3. Demolition Delayed Sometimes the explosives can be set exactly right, the engineers can crunch all of their numbers, and the button-pushing raffle tickets can all be sold. Even the kaboom can go off right. But then, when the smoke clears, something still appears to have gone wrong. The old power plant in the Canadian province of New Brunswick was one such case where everything seemed to be right, but the structure just didn't collapse as everyone had expected. While the explosion seemed initially kind of impressive, there was a lot of booming and smoke and the general indication that some collapsing was going on, and when the dust settled, the result was pretty underwhelming. Part of the main building had collapsed, but a huge portion of it remained, and the smokestack, which, let's face it, is the best bit of watching a power station demolition, was largely intact. The chimney had done something extremely unusual that even the very experienced demolition team had never witnessed. It had detonated around the lower part, but had somehow fallen so symmetrically that it had simply shrunk by six or seven feet and was sitting uniformly in place, but a little bit shorter. It was a head scratcher, that's for sure, so engineers went back to the drawing board to figure out just how to slay the mighty beast that didn't want to go down without a fight. Number 2. Worker Dies As Stadium Roof Collapses During Demolition in St. Petersburg this terrifying footage may look like the opening sequence to an action movie, but unfortunately, it's a real-life event that would be captured by a drone. A demolition worker can be seen slicing through the metal supports of the stadium with a blowtorch when the section suddenly breaks away and sets in motion a whole sequence of collapse. The structural integrity of the whole arena may have rested on that one tiny area, and when it was severed, the entire building just began folding in on itself. The worker dashes towards a safety cage that was suspended from a crane beside where he was working, but the building is just falling too quickly. 
Tragically, the drone camera captures the young man's last moments and his body was later found within the rubble. This is a sobering reminder of the real dangers involved with this kind of work, and although some of the stuff can look epic or cool, it's also a really risky occupation. Number 1. Teenager narrowly avoids being crushed by a derelict building after pulling the bricks out of a pillar. So as is the nature of this internet-y business, we go from one instance of somebody just doing their job that ended in tragedy, to some numpty being a vandal and narrowly avoiding a painful death. Playing a dicey game of Jenga, pulling bricks out of a wonky old column, this dopey child was likely unaware that he was really in mortar danger. He prodded away at the rickety bricks as if hell-bent on causing some level of destruction. However, what he achieved may have outdone even his wildest <laughs> fantasies. As he chips away, there's no obvious sign what the building might do. Perhaps that's why this joker seems unperturbed by the potential body-crushing structural collapse that's coming. As the last of the jingle blocks is jiggled free from the middle column, the inevitable happens. With a huge violent crash, the whole central area of the roof collapses in on itself. tumbling beams and tiles and bricks into a heap of rubble in the exact same spot this plonker was standing mere seconds beforehand. The two Wallies leg it while laughing hysterically at their insanely destructive comedy, you know, as one does. I do hope there wasn't a whole bunch of asbestos in that building though. I doubt there was. I mean, it seems unlikely that an old Russian building would have any. Nothing toxic at all, right? Well, after all that near missing excitement, I need a nice lie down in a darkened room contemplate my entire life and my existence inside of buildings to begin with, like the one I'm in now. Which of these demolition blunders tickled you? Have you got any hilarious wonky structural stories? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.